Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So we are entering into spring. We've made it through winter. We've made it through full spring, the fake spring that comes before second winter. And now we're entering hopefully into actual spring. So I'm excited to be changing up my outfits, focus a little bit less on like winter wear and like heavy layers and, and kind of, you know, transition into those spring kind of themed outfits. You know, you got bright colors, you got, well, I'm gonna go over them in this video. So I thought it'd be good to go over a couple things that are like trendy right now for spring. Some things that I personally just really enjoy to wear in spring and also just some practical advice for what to wear as well, depending on like the weather and stuff like that. Steam's finished downloading, nice one. So the first thing is a bit of a practical one. It's staying with the warm layering. Now I know in winter, obviously you wanna layer up, you wanna keep warm. Spring in the UK, isn't actually that warm you get it kind of fluctuates with the temperature but basically the point is you kind of need to keep that layering going that you had going on during winter however you can be a bit more clever with it in spring something i really like to do in spring when it comes to keeping warm is actually wearing an outer layer that kind of doesn't look like an outer layer so what i'm talking about is like a jacket that looks like it could be a shirt so a jacket or perhaps like a, a super thick jumper that kind of you know normally you wear jumpers underneath a coat but if it's thick enough you can kind of use that as your outer layer a really good example of this is fleece jackets because they're so soft and kind of comfortable they kind of look like jumpers they kind of look like something you'd wear under a jacket but they're often warm enough that you can just wear them over the top fleeces are super popular right now i'm trying not to buy too many because I, I used to hate fleece i really did don't forget about scarves and hats those will keep you warm which means that you don't need to throw on those winter coats as much talking about colors a little bit more so for men we've kind of unlocked this uh, area right now where we can kind of experiment a bit more with lighter tones lighter colors white like light trousers it was for a long time it was kind of frowned upon for men to kind of experiment in that area which is obviously dumb but it's nice that it's becoming more popular for guys to be able to wear kind of more soft effeminate kind of tones in spring i really love to go for kind of pastel colors a personal favorite of mine is kind of dusty pink like pastel pink which is kind of what i got going on on this uh, top right now and at the moment, I'm really into kind of pastel blue as well, uh, kind of like a baby blue color. Really into that, obviously it looks like a spring sky, so that's kind of why it looks like spring. And when you mix those colors into kind of like a, you know, like a soft kind of cozy kind of outfit, I think it works really nicely. Pastel colors go really well with warm tones as well most of the time. So like your browns and your beiges that are really popular and in right now. So it's kind of like a nice, nice one to rely on. Talking about trends a little bit now, obviously, Wide legs are still very popular right now, wide leg trousers. Another thing that's really great for spring is denim, denim jeans. So some wide leg jeans are something that I'm really into at the moment. I haven't personally gone too wide with my denim. I know a lot of people are really enjoying like the super wide kind of 90s uh, wide denim, wide leg denim at the moment. Personally, I'm kind of going for more of like a relaxed, like oversized a little bit, but nothing, nothing mental. I kind of want them to still look somewhat classy. A good thing to keep in mind for wide leg trousers if you want to keep them looking kind of classy and kind of smart is to go for a sort of slimmer tighter fit on top like obviously you can do kind of oversized trousers oversized top which looks kind of fun and cozy but it's a nice silhouette to go for if you've got the wide leg to go for like a a slimmer top half um so that's kind of tighter fitting t-shirts and stuff like that Another trend that kind of goes hand in hand with that that's really popular right now is cropped tops or cropped jackets. So some of these are kind of still oversized, but because of the cropped factor, it really complements the wide legs. It kind of creates like a sort of gap slash kind of slim area in the waist and it just creates a nice shape, I think. So yeah, cropped jackets are definitely gonna be popular this spring. I've got kind of a few kind of cropped jackets in my wardrobe. Some of them are kind of just short jackets that I can kind of pretend are cropped, kind of get away with it. You can obviously get the ones that are properly cropped where they just have a hard edge right at the bottom and they're kind of, they create that gap those probably look the most effective but just in general if you're going to be wearing wide leg trousers try and go for jackets that are you know cropped at the waist and kind of hang a little bit higher if possible because that just really finishes off the silhouette and really complements those wide leg trousers i picked up this oversized blue work jacket second hand because it's kind of like a bomber jacket it's kind of cropped at the bottom so i feel like it goes quite well i've also got this vintage denim jacket that i had in my parents attic for years that i completely forgot about um, which has got a really nice fit to it for wide leg. I've also picked up this gray puffer jacket recently, which has got a nice short length to it. I like this one especially because without the without any kind of collar, with the low kind of collar line on it, um, it gives space to wear like scarves or to wear hoodies underneath. Now going from that point about collarless jackets, actually goes on to my next point, which is cardigans. I think cardigans are gonna be quite popular this spring, especially ones, in my mind, a really nice cardigan to wear during spring is one that doesn't have like a collar, like a shoulder collar or anything. The ones that just kind of stop short and just kind of sit on your shoulders. Those are great for layering up because you can wear things over the top and you're not getting bunched up with loads of layers on your shoulders because that's quite uncomfortable, especially if you've got a bag or something. It just, it's really easy to layer these cardigans. And again, if you can get them kind of short or cropped, they look really good white leg trousers. They're keeping that silhouette on top kind of like 
slim line, like kind of like not too bulky and stops it kind of adding too much weight to the top. Now, smart shoes are really popular at the moment as well, like loafers and stuff like that. I think spring is the best time to be wearing them because in winter, it's kind of a bit too cold to be wearing them. They're not always the most kind of warm shoe or like padded shoe, whereas springtime I feel like is a really great time to wear them. Autumn is great as well, obviously. I do say that autumn and spring go kind of hand in hand. I think autumn is people prefer to wear a lot more warm tones and spring is kind of like the twin brother of autumn, but just more colorful I find um, and a bit more kind of fresh. So I've gone through those kind of quickly, but those are my sort of thoughts about spring outfits and essentials that you should kind of look into if you really want to kind of freshen up your wardrobe for spring. I have a bit of a chaotic prediction, which uh, I have no idea if, if it's going to be right or not, but I do think that waistcoats are going to make a comeback somehow, somehow, I think. Like obviously in the 2000s, we went through this phase of, of people wearing waistcoats on t-shirts and uh, that was a... That was an interesting time, and I'm not sure people want to go back to that, but I, I just feel like waistcoats are gonna um, are gonna make a bit of a comeback somehow. I've got this old waistcoat that I've held onto for a long time with this collar, which I really like. It's navy, so it's kind of difficult to style with anything, but I can kind of see it fitting into this kind of like luxury, casual luxury kind of vibe that a lot of people got going on at the moment. Another one that I've got, like I remember being obsessed with this when I bought it and then I very rarely wore it and I don't know why I've still got it but uh, it's this hooded waistcoat which again <laughs> at the time like I was wearing it with like band t-shirts and you know this is back in 2000s and uh, looking back I really don't like how I styled it but now I'm kind of like okay with some smart trousers and a smart kind of t-shirt I feel like it could work so I'm gonna whip those out I'm gonna kind of see how I can style those but just I just feel like we haven't seen waistcoats in a while uh, apart from like three-piece suits, obviously. So I'm curious to see if people start to kind of rediscover them and start applying them to their outfits. We shall see. I feel like spring is the best time for that again. So if it's not this spring, I think it'll be next spring. I don't know. I mean, I don't care that much about waistcoats. Like I'm not pining for them to come back. I'm just kind of like, hmm, maybe they will. Not to mention most waistcoats are quite cropped. And if we're going for cropped style at the moment, you got the waistcoats, man. I could be wrong about this, I could be wrong. Tell me what you think in the comments. Tell me if you think waistcoats are ever gonna make like a comeback to kind of casual wear um, or just like outside the world of suits. Uh, let me know what you think. Bonus one that I just remembered is matching outfits. So I'm not talking like you and your partner matching. I'm talking like matching jacket with the trousers, all in one kind of look. I know that's kind of been popular for a while now, but there's something about spring where I feel like it just works really well. I mean, it's peak jacket over t-shirt kind of weather, right? And it's usually the jacket with the trousers that you want to match. If you check out Muji's new Capot collection, you'll see exactly what I mean. It's kind of like very basic blocky, but matching colors. Yeah, I think that's going to be quite big in spring because it's, it's the best season to be doing that kind of matching. Um, like I say, winter's got a few too many layers, summer's got too few kind of layers. So spring kind of comes in as that perfect time to really do those matching outfits basically. So we could see a little bit more of that and uh, it's just a good, it's a good look to go for. Thank you Sophie for sending me a link to that collection as I was filming this video. Okay folks, I hope that gave you some ideas for spring, looking ahead. Hopefully it gives you some ideas on if you're having a spring clean out of like what you want to keep and what you don't. Although don't forget, you don't always have to go out and buy a whole new wardrobe when you feel like your style is kind of not where you want it to be. There's plenty of secondhand shops out at the moment. And when things like wide leg trousers are coming back into fashion, like those are things you can buy secondhand. They've been popular in the past. They're very easy to find secondhand. So you can save money that way. You can help plan that way. Let's all try and feel good this spring. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video because it really does help me know which videos are popular or whatnot. And I'll be seeing you in another video quite soon.